Everywhere around the world, clinicians based at specialist clubfoot clinics incorporate 10 key steps to each appointment to carry out the Ponsetti method, a standard medical treatment for clubfoot. Each step will help to ensure high quality clubfoot treatment, even if they are done in a different order. This video is a brief explainer of each of the steps. Step one, check and update patient information. In step one, the family and their child are introduced to a clubfoot clinic where they receive initial advice and support from the parent advisor. Emmanuel is a parent advisor. His role is to support baby Alain and his family throughout the clubfoot treatment. Parent advisors thoroughly check the child's personal information and all contact telephone numbers. This can often change, so it must be checked at every appointment. Step two, inspect and remove the cast. In step two, clinicians inspect and remove the child's cast. It is thoroughly checked for any obvious problems. There are a few different ways to remove the cast. In most clinics, the parent advisor and parents remove the cast using buckets of water. Step three, assess the patient. In step three, the clinician assesses the patient's feet using the Pirani score or other appropriate method. The clinician documents the assessment and keeps records of the foot before treatment using photos. Step four, decide on treatment. In step four, the clinician decides on the treatment plan that best suits the child's progress based on the Ponsetti method. Step five, treat the patient. For step five, the clinician treats the patient, either by applying a new cast, performing a tenotomy, or fitting a brace. After treatment, the clinician will give the next appointment. Step six, take photos. In step six, before and after treatment, pictures of the child's feet are taken to keep a record and monitor progress. It is important to get parental consent before taking any photos of the child. Step seven, provide parent education and support. Following the appointment with the clinician, families receive guidance, further education on clubfoot and support from their parent advisor. This is the opportunity to ask questions about their child's treatment process and how best to help. Step eight, schedule and record next appointment. The family is informed by the parent advisor of the clinician's next follow-up appointment to review the treatment. This is recorded in the patient's treatment record and appointment schedule. Step nine, document everything. Documenting the child's progress correctly is crucial to making sure they are on the right track to recovery and that their condition can be reviewed accurately during the next appointment. The clinician and parent advisor have different patient records to complete after each appointment. These should be stored in a safe, dry and confidential place for the next appointment. Step 10, complete all reports. The clinician and parent advisor complete all reports for data collection and quality assurance purposes. Incorporating these 10 key steps in every appointment will help to ensure high quality clubfoot treatment, giving all children the opportunity to live their life to the full. I am very excited to see the final stage of treatment and my child being healed. I have a dream that my child will be important and will serve this country and community.